guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new i hope this video finds you well i hope you are staying safe during this pandemic i hope you're happy healthy all of that good stuff today i did not feel like putting on makeup so ignore my face and also guess what day i'm filming this i will give you a hint uh, it's saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's day to all my fellow irish people out there um you're pretty cool Anyways, today I'm going to be filming a college Q&A video. Um, I feel like a lot of people maybe feel this way whenever they start a channel. Like, it's not really a common thing to sit down and make a video, like, about yourself. Because, like, that's not the way that you're going to get people to watch your channel. So I realize a lot of you kind of don't know me personally. So I'm going to include some questions about me um, that I get every so often in there just because I don't know I I want you guys to think of me as like a friend versus like some random person that you watch online so I'm going to include some about me so if you are at all interested about hearing some potential advice things I want to say about college as well as some stuff about me then go ahead and keep watching let's get into it Okay, so I will save all the questions like about me for the end because I'm sure some people do not care about me, don't want to know, they're just here for the college portion of the Q&A. So I'll go ahead and get into all of those questions first and I'll save everything about me for the end. So I'm just going to jump right into it and kind of like keep going. Hopefully I won't have to like edit this video that much, so let's get into it. So the first question says, now that you've graduated, um... If you, could go, if you could go back, would you choose this college again? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I think kind of when I was in school, you know, I think you picture college being a certain way. And when it's not how you picture it, like, obviously you're going to feel some type of way about it. And I think I pictured the typical college experience being something a lot different than what I did experience just because, like... The school is such a commuter school and like it's hard to make friends there and it's also hard to just like have the typical college experience because there's not like people don't attend events there's no like big sporting things and those are all kind of things that you consider being part of the typical college experience and I didn't have any of that so like I don't want to say I felt salty about that because I did kind of know going into it, but also to a large extent, I didn't know the extent to which it was that way, that it was such a commuter school and it was such like a different environment than a typical college. Um, but I would choose it over again just because the major that I chose was so like, I guess a niche and it was like really good school for that major. so because of that and because of the coursework and the professors and everyone who really works their butt off in that major made it a really great experience for me so looking back I would choose it again this one says did you feel challenged in your coursework and yes I did feel challenged in my coursework of course there's gonna be some classes that are easier than others and that's true for any major but I definitely did feel challenged and I also felt like all of my professors, not even just in the classes that were in my major, but also in the general classes that I took, I felt like all my teachers were very knowledgeable about that subject. So I did feel challenged and I think that's important when you're in school, obviously you want to feel, you know, challenged and that's kind of how you know that you're growing intellectually as a person. So yes, I did feel challenged in my coursework. This one says, what do you do on the weekends? Um, in the beginning, when I didn't have a car freshman year, those weekends looked a lot different than when I did have a car sophomore year, junior year, senior year. So freshman year, when I didn't have a car, my roommate would often go home on the weekends. So I was kind of stuck on campus. I did have a couple of really good friends who were also in the same situation as me. So luckily I got to hang out with them. I think if they were not in my lives, I would have honestly been very depressed just being kind of stuck there alone and feeling like, you know, there's not really that much to do because it is such a commuter school. 
a lot of this stuff closes on the weekends. So you're kind of limited on things that you can do. Of course, you can take an Uber somewhere, but that's going to get expensive. And, you know, if you're not the person who has the car, you don't really want to be asking someone all the time, oh, can we go here? Can we go here? Because it's their car, it's their gas. So I can get how that kind of puts you in an uncomfortable situation sometimes. But most of the time, freshman year, on the weekends, I would really go hard in the gym and I would study, hang out with friends, do something low key, usually nothing that crazy. Um, but once I got to my sophomore year, junior year, senior year, the weekends were a lot more fun when I had my car. Um, you know, this is something that I've mentioned a lot, but the school is in a good location just in terms of like accessibility to other cities where there's more fun stuff to do. You can go hang out in downtown Disney with your friends. You can go to Knott's Berry Farm. You can go to LA, Hollywood, you can go to the beach. If you're trying to do like a day trip, you can go to San Diego. It's only like two hours away. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do on the weekends. Um, if you do have your car and you're willing to drive a little bit, you can have a lot of fun potentially. This one says, what is your favorite place on campus and why? I think my favorite place on campus would be the Collins College just because like Obviously my classes were up there, but it really feels like separated from the main campus because it's like up a hill, but the views up there are like really incredible. You have a whole view of like the whole campus plus the city and there's like a lot of nice like just like land below the the Collins College where they have like, um, you know, like mini orchards that the ag students work in. Um, like a mini vineyard so the views are really nice I will insert some pictures um, after this but like if you're someone who's like not interested in hospitality whatsoever and you're thinking you're never gonna find yourself up there at the Collins College you should definitely check it out because the views are really nice like if you're trying to have like a photo shoot or whatever like that's kind of the place I would go because the views are really nice this person said are the hours of campus facilities convenient for students meaning the library, dining hall, fitness center, etc. And I would say yes and no. During the week, I would say it is adequate. They do have like a 24 hour computer lab where if you're someone who like is trying to pull an all nighter, you can definitely do that and be in a safe environment because it's enclosed. You have to swipe your ID to be able to get inside. So like no weird foreign people are gonna be able to get into that area if you're like worried about that. Um, the thing that sucks, I would say, if you're someone who's going to be living on campus, I would say that the hours are not adequate because most places close on the weekend, like the food place is closed, the, the student center is closed, um, the gym is open, so you, you have the gym, you have that at least, um, but a lot of the food places are closed and the library closes. It could be different now, but I believe on Sundays it closed at 7 and like I was more the type of person who liked to do my work kind of last minute so which meant most of the time Sunday night and I feel like it's important to separate your dorm space from your study space because it could be kind of like a little bit much to have it all in one area like you're doing everything in one room it can just be like a little bit much and like feel kind of claustrophobic so in that way it kind of sucked because I would like to do my homework like Sunday night but if you can't do it in the library, you're gonna have to do it in your room, which, I mean, if you space out your time differently, obviously it could be totally fine for you, but that part was annoying to me. So overall, I would say yes and no. This person said, what was your favorite place to dine off campus? Um, There is a really good place that is close to the school. I'm talking like minutes up the road and it's called Baby Elephant. It's a Thai place. They have really good, like, um, like a really good chicken dish that has like a peanut sauce. And they give you um, a discount if you're a student and you show them your student ID, they will give you a free Thai iced tea. I personally love those, so I took advantage of that a lot. Some other places that I like to eat around the school, it's called Jinza Teriyaki. You guys should go there. That place is bomb. They have like this really good like white sauce that you can like put on your rice and stuff. Like it's so good. Like you you have to try that place. It's so good. A lot of people also will get boba at this place called um, Zero X, which is like 
across the street from that teriyaki place I just told you about. It's on Temple and Valley or Temple and Pomona Boulevard, depending on the cross street, which way you're coming from. But you guys should check that out. Like that's a good way to meet like other students because I'm sure like a lot of a lot of students hang out there and get like drinks there and food there before they go to school or after they finish their classes for the day, whatever it is. Excuse the jump cut, I had to pause because I started sneezing a bunch of times. Um, but going back to the public transportation, I think it just sucks in general in LA compared to where I'm from. So there's that. Plus, if you're like a dude watching this video, I'm sure it's different, but like as a woman, you really have to kind of like time it right when you're going to take public transportation just because you don't want to be like traveling at night. Like definitely go with a friend. Don't go by yourself. But like don't try to hang out there like at night. The city itself is not that safe. The surrounding cities are better. Some of them are better. But you don't want to be like coming in and out of Pomona like late at night. Like don't do it. It's not safe. So that's what I have to say about that. This person said, are there any school traditions? And yes, there are. Um, they have a big event every year called the Hot Dog Caper. It's held in October every year, and basically you just go and um, you can eat a bunch of free hot dogs. They do not limit you on how many hot dogs you can eat. You can get in the line multiple times. I did have a friend who had eaten six at once. Anyways, um, yeah, they have a photo booth. They have like um, ice cream bars. They have like street performers, there's a different theme every year, so um, they can get interesting with the themes, I will say that. I also have a homecoming week. It's different than a typical homecoming week. It's held in February and that's kind of like, it's kind of like homecoming mixed with like a parents weekend. A lot of parents come for that. They have like carnival rides. It's basically just like a big block party every year on the Day of the Dead. They take the whole like plot of grass that's in front of the school gym and they have like, you know, traditional dances, they sell food, um, they have big displays, very beautiful elaborate displays and that's pretty cool to go to as well. I went to that a couple times. So they do have a few traditions. This person says, what advice would you give to a incoming freshman? Um, I think the biggest piece of advice, and I would say this to any freshman going to any school, not just Cal Poly, just try to get involved as much as you can. Like, you know, join a club, join a, a exercise class, um, you know, attend meetings, like, at your dorm. It's just a good way to make friends, and then once you make friends, like, your life is going to get a lot better. This person says, were there any surprise costs you did not know about before committing to the college? And the answer to that is no. They are very upfront about the tuition and the cost and everything like that. Also, if you're going to be taking out loans, like they're very transparent. And that way, um, the only thing that I can think of in terms of costs that you might not be expecting, if you're going to join Greek life, I know that the, the call of dues for that can become quite expensive. Um, I know I had some friends who joined and then were like, what the heck, this is so much money for like the semester or the quarter or whatever. But in terms of like from the actual school, the answer is honestly no. This person says, what major would you have chosen if not hospitality? And the answer to that is accounting. This person says, do you feel like students have a voice in the university? Um, I'm gonna say yes and the reason I'm gonna say yes is because you have an opportunity and I'm gonna say a big opportunity to join um, ASI which is like the student government like for the college just because like a lot of people don't like run for things because they don't stick around on campus that much if you run for something, you have a good chance of, like, getting it. Um, so you can obviously join that to try to feel like, I mean, to try to, like, have a platform to speak about something. Um, additionally, I will say that Cal Poly is very good at, like, once a semester or back then it was once a quarter. 
they would bring like the president of the university in and they would have a big like open discussion in one of like the um like event space rooms students could attend it was completely free to attend and you could write a question and either she would answer it or the um, ASI president, like the school student government president would answer it. It was an event called Pizza with the Presidents. They would always have pizza so you can get free pizza and then like sit in for this. And that was a really great way to feel like you are being heard if you have concerns. Like a lot of people complain about the parking, they would talk about the parking. A lot of people um, would complain about um, like at the time when I was in school, they switched from quarter to semester and a lot of people had questions about that. They had a whole um, event just about the semester conversion. If you have questions about your classes, how things are going to be transferred over, they answered everything. So that's a really great way to feel like you're being heard and I would really encourage you to go to those. Not even like if you just have a question. Sometimes you have a question that like you didn't even know that you had and like someone else asks it and they answer it. So like. It's just a really great way to get information, honestly, and I would encourage you guys to go. This person asked, do you feel safe on campus? And I did, honestly, I really did feel safe on campus. I know that I talk a lot about the city of Pomona not being really that safe, but the actual city is like not really connected to the college. Like it's on the other side of the freeway and like it's really more like closer to the city of Walnut and the city of San Dimas. And honestly, both of those cities are like, they're, they're a lot better than Pomona, honestly. I didn't feel unsafe in those cities at all. Um, but in terms of walking there, even at night, like I really didn't feel unsafe at all. There's always gonna be someone else who's gonna be walking. Like no matter how late you think it is, trust me, I've left the library during finals week when it's open 24 seven, like at God awful times in the night and in the morning, and there's always gonna be someone else there. So like. I never felt unsafe, I never felt alone, nothing like that. So that's honestly really good. And if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't be concerned about it. One person said, um, do you feel like there's a good like life and school balance at the school? And definitely the answer is yes. Um, a lot of people kept asking me like, can I set my schedule to be only two days a week? And the answer is yes. Um, depending on the classes that you need to take for that semester, if they are available two days a week, yes, you can absolutely make your schedule only two days a week. Additionally, you can make it three days a week. Like, it's really not that hard to, like, make your schedule work, if that makes sense. Like, honestly, most classes are offered either Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday, and occasionally Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But if you only want classes Monday, Wednesday, you can do that. If you only want classes Tuesday, Thursday, you could do that. If you want Friday class, you're weird, but you could do that too. Like, it's it's really like very, very doable. Even not just like when you're an upper division student, like taking your major classes, you can make it that way for like any like grade level. You know, like if you're a freshman, you're a sophomore, whatever, like, underclassmen you can make that your schedule too it's really not that hard one person asked me did i take out loans the answer to that is no i realize i'm very fortunate i did have a 529 plan set up by my grandparents and that was able to pay for my whole college so i'm very very fortunate that i did come out of college debt free i know that is not the case for a lot of people but i don't really have that much information in terms of loans and taking them out just because i didn't do that Oh, this person asked what was my favorite class that I took at Cal Poly and the answer to that is I took a class um, first semester of senior year for one of my GEs like my last GE my last upper division GE I don't even remember what which one it was I think it was under area D if I'm not mistaken but the whole class was um, about like demons and ghosts I love that stuff like I love scary movies all of that stuff like I'm super into it um, and I took a class all about like demons and ghosts and the paranormal in literature and we also got to watch movies and the teacher was so much fun her name was Peg um, 
that class was honestly really fun and like the whole class was like filled with like people like me who also were like super into that stuff so you could always talk about like oh have you seen this movie oh have you seen like this have you read this have you watched this show so it was cool to just be with like like-minded people who also like spooky shit like that so i realized this video is already like 20 minutes long and i'm not trying to make it that much longer but i also realized i totally skipped over the part where i answered anything about myself and my personal life so i'm just gonna rapid fire them if you don't care you can totally exit out the video now thank you for watching i appreciate it if you do care um i'm just gonna try to answer these as fast as i can so this video doesn't last forever um Okay, just, just some personal things about myself. How old am I? I'm 22, I'm about to be 23. Um, where do I live? I live in the Bay Area. Like I said, of course, I lived in Pomona for four years. Um, or I lived in Pomona, I lived in Walnut, I lived in Chino Hills for four years. Um, this person asked me what was my favorite subject in high school. I hated high school, honestly. Well, I, I don't wanna say I hated high school. College is just a lot so much better than high school um but if i had to pick i took film in high school and that was like a really dope class i like watched so many classic movies i feel like i had a completely like new perspective on movies after i took that class i feel like i had a way bigger appreciation for movies and all the effort that goes into you know everything that goes into movies the filming the directing the cinematography like everything and like i learned a lot from that class and i absolutely loved it um what music do i like to listen to um honestly a huge variety i love country music don't come for me i don't care what anyone says like i love country music but i also like r&b um in terms of artists i like juice world i like polo g um drake chris brown um yeah anyways my favorite color blue do i speak any other languages no i wish i did um did i like college yes i loved college it goes by really fast so enjoy it i know i have a lot of like incoming freshmen watching this channel enjoy it because it goes by super fast but you're gonna make a lot of really great lifelong friends and a lot of great memories so overall it's just a really great time in your life um what are my favorite tv shows keeping up with the kardashians i love gordon ramsay any of his shows 24 hours down and back hell's kitchen master chef i love gordon ramsay honestly i love all of his shows I love The Office. I, I'm also really into documentaries. Like I love watching murder documentaries with my mom and my sister. People ask me I have a sibling. Yes, I have a sibling, I have a sister. Um, also, do I have any pets? Yes, I have cats and I love cats. I love dogs too, but I love cats. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I'm going to answer in this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to know me a little bit better. I'm not this random person you're watching online. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.